Last but certainly not least is the Mille Lacs Band of Ojibwe. The Mille Lacs Band is located in East Central Minnesota on the Mille Lacs Reservation. More than 2,300 of the band's 4,300 members live within reservation boundaries. The band has recognized a disparity, a disparity in digital literacy among band members and has take, undertaken several initiatives to address the disparity, including satellite internet connections, computers in common spaces, digital literacy courses, and bringing fiber optic cable to a segment of the reservation. Their work through the Blandon Broadband Communities Program will build on this work. Mille Lacs Band of Ojibwe's Blandon Broadband Communities Leadership Team includes representatives from, so from social services, education, tribal government, and businesses. Here today from the Mille Lacs Band is Keith Moglin and Joyce Shingobi. Well, first of all, on behalf of the Mille Lacs Band of Ojibwe, I wanted to say uh, many miigwetches to the Blandon Foundation for giving us the opportunity to work with, uh, with their uh, foundation to create some better um, lives for the people of our, of our community. The other thing I want to say is we do have a long-standing relationship with the Blandon Foundation with various grants that we've received in the past. And also many of our, of our band members, Mille Lacs band members, have participated in the leadership programs that Blandon has offered. I, for myself, have, have uh, uh, participated in, 19, in 1994 and in 2010 in the uh, community leadership program and in the American Indian leadership program. So that was a great um, experience for me and for a lot of our band members because now we can come together and, and really see what our community needs are and how we can work together to solve those. The other thing that I wanted to share with you is that um, just in the recent, um, I just recently uh, uh, headed up the education department as executive director, and one of the, one of my first uh, one of my first responsibilities was to create an online school, and I see um, Keith over there kind of shrinking. <laughs> because it was actually in the District 3 community of our reservation, which is the really the remotest part, the isolated part of our reservation. As most of you know or don't know, our reservation is uh, comprised of 160 miles, and District 1 is where we're located at. District 2 is uh, about 60, 70 miles uh, northeast of, the res of District 1, and then Lake Lena, in the District 3 of our reservation is by the um, Danbury, uh, Minnesota border, which is like about 80, I know it too, 83 miles as I drive there almost every day. But um, in District 3 is where we started our online school and it was such a, um, a challenge to get that going because we had students who wanted to do online schooling rather than attend uh, any of the local uh, schools in our district. And so Keith and I worked a lot in, together and stuff to create that. But before that, um, in the process there, we had, um, we had uh, what was supposed to be satellite um, internet. And any time, as all of you guys know who are live in remote areas, any time the wind blows or a tree flickers, you know, you lose connection. And so that was a really big challenge for us. So we really look forward to working on this whole project together with uh, Blandon's uh, uh, support and community support to get this going for our community because we really need it in our community. Miigwech. Thank you.